NBA Athletes Caught Cheating, featuring LeBron James and James Harden. Sometimes NBA stars just want to get away from the spotlight and enjoy their life away from the media. However, sliding into the DMs while already in a relationship isn't the way to go about this. Stars like LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and James Harden have all been caught cheating on their girlfriends or wives. Michael Jordan cheated dozens and dozens of times, while James was caught directly messaging a couple models on Instagram carelessly. With a couple drinks in the system and while out with guys after a big win, it's challenging for these stars to stay loyal. Here are a couple NBA athletes who were caught cheating on their significant others. Keep watching to find out all the secret lives these stars tried to live. LeBron James LeBron James and Savannah Brinson met as students at rival Ohio high schools. LeBron was a senior and basketball team star, while Brinson was a junior who played softball and also did cheerleading. Brinson became pregnant with their oldest son, who they later named LeBron James Jr., during her senior year of high school. It was an unplanned pregnancy, and people believe it came at the worst time when James was starting his rookie season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. I was very scared. I was bawling. But James said, It's not going to slow me down, and it's not going to slow you down. We're going to keep doing what we have to do, Brinson recalled to Harper's Bazaar. Like everything, James was right. Starting in his rookie season, James watched his career continue to progress, while Brinson was a main priority. James and Brinson have now since been married and have two more kids. It's an untraditional relationship to say the least. James had rumors circulating that he may have had a thing for messaging random women. There's some strange things about their relationship. Brinson and James first met at a high school football game during his senior year. James asked Brinson if she would attend a basketball game, Brinson recalled. I'm like, um, nope. I'll take his number. Brinson didn't know how highly touted James was as a prospect, and James stopped reaching out to Brinson with everything going on in his life. Brinson was bored one evening and remembered there was this guy that seemed interested in her. Later, she would attend one of his basketball games and realized James was really popular. I went and I was like, wow, this guy is pretty popular in here, she told Harper's Bazaar. After the high school game, Brinson and James took a trip to Applebee's with some friends. Soon, they dipped their friends and went on a date alone at an Outback Steakhouse. Most girls would quickly write off a guy after a mediocre conversation, so we wondered what made these two lovebirds continue to see each other after their first subpar date. Soon after the first date, Brinson was pregnant and was extremely nervous about what would happen next in her life. I was thinking, what am I going to tell my parents? What's going to happen to his career? She told Harper's Bazaar. Some believe Brinson had allowed the pregnancy because it was LeBron's baby, and that would mean he would stay around and she would get paid. But that now seems farther from the truth. James made the cover of Sports Illustrated as a high school athlete. Yet Brinson thought that he was a normal high school senior. She thought he would be a hometown hero and move on with his life. We're not so sure how she didn't see James' success coming when Sports Illustrated already did. I just thought he'd be a hometown hero for his era and it would be over. He was a normal high school senior, she told Harper's Bazaar. Soon James and Brinson had their second child, but they weren't even married. Things started to get fishy between the two. In August 2010, Brinson said that she hadn't put a fire under his ass in terms of demanding they tie the knot, because she didn't want to rush him. We're really comfortable with the way things are now, and it's not up to me. When it happens, it happens, she said. James finally proposed in January 2012. A guy like James, who has talked to many people, performed in front of millions of people, was still nervous when the time came to propose. He had Dwayne Wade hold the engagement ring for him, and as the ball dropped to start a new year, James popped the question around family and friends. I asked Wade for the ring right after the ball dropped, he said. He was like, you ready? I was like, if you don't give me this ring right now, I ain't gonna do it. WTF? James and Brinson married in September 2013. Three years later, LeBron was caught in the DM saying, hey, what's up, to a woman named Rachel Bush. He also got caught messaging Heidi Hoback, who was also an Instagram model. He said, teach me how to hunt and I'll teach you how to play ball. Deal? LOL. These DMs or texts were never publicly addressed by LeBron or Savannah. James Harden. We've got another Kardashian moment in the NBA. Khloe Kardashian accused her ex-boyfriend James Harden of cheating on her after pressuring the reality star to commit to an exclusive relationship. Harden of the Houston Rockets ended the romance in July of 2015. Khloe claimed James broke his own vow of monogamy. I don't want to put up with people that you want to be monogamous, but then you're not monogamous, Kardashian explained. I've always said, it's long distance, we don't need to be monogamous. There's a lot of stuff going on in both of our lives. You live in Houston, I live in LA, let's just see each other when we see each other. Harden reportedly didn't like the long distance relationship and rejected the idea, and instead pleaded with Chloe to commit herself to the romance. Why wouldn't you say, okay, that's great, she questioned, instead of forcing a relationship. Let's be committed, let's be committed, he wanted that. 
I mean, I wanted it, but I wanted to be realistic. I was like, it's unfair. I'm working so much right now. You're in Houston. We don't need to be committed. He sought me out. He wanted to be committed. Then, wasn't committed. Chloe went on to insist she has evidence to prove James was unfaithful. I was like, great. This guy is in it for the long haul. Let's do it. And then I found out he wasn't, she added. And I have the receipts to prove it. Harden was caught off guard when he heard that Chloe was making this accusation and was heated at the time. Chloe publicly aired her alleged dirty laundry. He's really pissed she blasted him like that for when, for the most part, he's kept the relationship private, a friend of James revealed to HollywoodLife.com. But that's a Kardashian for you. She threw him under the bus to spark some ratings on her show. But it's cool. It's whatever. They're over now. And he's happy. And so are his teammates and his friends. Now he can focus on real reality, not her fake reality. It seemed like this relationship was never going to work out anyway. James Harden was likely quiet during the relationship because he wasn't enjoying it. James Harden looks to be dating Tiffany Golden, who is a cybersecurity consultant. Harden and his new rumored girlfriend have not been captured out at night by the paparazzi, and they have yet to follow one another on Instagram. Golden has been dropping pretty big hints that she's dating Harden. On December 8th, Golden posted a photo of herself standing right on the court in Houston. While she made no reference to Harden or used any cryptic hashtags in the caption, not just anyone gets to stroll courtside. This will be a better investment for Harden in the long haul. Nick Young Iggy Azalea split from the former Lakers guard Nick Young and it got dramatic quickly. Azalea revealed the real reason that she was splitting from Young in a bunch of tweets. She claimed that he was cheating on her with a number of women while she was away from their shared home. She wrote in June 2016, I broke up with Nick because I found out he had brought other women into our home while I was away and caught them on the security footage. In the second tweet, Iggy shared her feelings. This is just like a second shot to the chest, and I feel like I don't even know who the hell it is I've been loving all this time. Lastly, she wrote, People in this world are really effed up. There were also rumors that Azalea broke up with Young because he allegedly fathered another child with the mother of his four-year-old son, Nick Jr. Iggy didn't even know about the rumor when these rumors started to hit the media. Iggy responded in another tweet, I have never been told by Nick that his baby mother is pregnant, so if this is true, I'm finding out via E! News. Young was caught admitting he cheated on Azalea in a secret video that leaked earlier in March. Iggy confessed that she didn't know what to believe. Azalea said she would stay with Young, but there would be severe consequences if he messed up again. No, I'm not cool with it. Like, you will have half a penis, the rapper said, laying out the game plan for what would happen if Young was unfaithful. I already said, one more video, just one more thing, and you will lose a quarter of your meat. It looks like Nick Young has moved on, and is now engaged to Kiana Green. No, it's been way overdue, baby, Young tells Green as he gets down on one knee. I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. After she said yes, Nick can be heard cheering as he put the enormous rock on her finger. Young then told Nick Jr., We did it, son! The moment was captured for Instagram. Green and Young have dated since high school and had an on-off relationship. In 2016, Young was previously engaged to Australian rapper Iggy Azalea, but she ended the relationship after Young was caught cheating. Green delivered the couple's second child. Iggy didn't know about his baby mother being pregnant. Michael Jordan Michael Jordan will arguably go down as the best basketball player to live, but he won't be the best husband to ever live. Jordan cheated on his ex-wife. Apparently, he was so good at getting away with cheating, but he was eventually caught. According to Elin Nordegren, the ex-wife of Tiger Woods, Jordan even mentored Tiger how to successfully get away with adultery. We know how that turned out, however. Jordan had an odd addition. He was a gambling addict who supposedly cheated on Juanita hundreds of times. We can only assume this to be true given he handed her nearly $200 million in the divorce settlement, which is still one of the most expensive settlements in celebrity divorce history. When you're the greatest player of all time, and when you go out late at night, everyone wants a piece of you. You're an icon and a star with tons of money. You can pay people whatever they want. The stars that are able to stay away from the spotlight and stay loyal will forever be the best. Players like LeBron and Jordan will hopefully show others that under the spotlight, they'll never sneak anything by. It's classless and stupid. But late at night, with a couple drinks around teammates, you'll end up doing some things you might regret later. LeBron cheating was more harmless than Jordan, who had to spend over $200 million to cover up his mistakes. They were expensive mistakes. If Jordan really helped Tiger Woods cheat, he really shouldn't be labeled the GOAT. But it seems like every superstar gets caught in these scandals. Name an NBA star and they've probably been caught cheating. Players like Jason Kidd and even Tim Duncan, who apparently could do nothing wrong, have cheated. Scottie Pippen, Klay Thompson, Paul George, and even Pau Gasol have all been caught. Also, Kobe Bryant and Wade were caught cheating in their days. 
it's way more common than you think. Then you have players like Patrick Mahomes and Steph Curry, who have girlfriends that get scrutinized and cyberbullied for how they look. Players like Curry and Mahomes deserve respect. Those guys stay loyal to their partners. 